Perfers. Welcome back to the back porch door. It is a glorious uh, afternoon here in the fall in Nashville. I'm working on Alec Bradley Prinsado today. Hope you're all having a good day. So this week, I was just down the road from my home here in Nashville. I was in Chattanooga, Tennessee, which is kind of nice. And I have to go cross country for a change. But um, I stopped in at a lounge there on the, on the way to a meeting. And I thought, man, I, I got to show the Herford community this lounge. It's really cool. Hope you guys enjoy looking at Chattanooga's own Cigar Man. Enjoy. I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and welcome to Cigar Man. All right, Herfers, I am in Chattanooga, Tennessee, in the humidor of Cigar Man. Let's take a look. Welcome to Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm at Cigar Man alongside the manager here, Chris Prince. And Chris, first of all, thanks for the hospitality. Thank you, sir. And uh, tell me about this place. We've been in business, this is our 10th year, this month. Uh, owner started out selling cigars out of his dining room. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did that for two years and then we moved into the, a small room upstairs and have grown into what we are today. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, uh, the humidor you've got in here, tell me about what's yeah. going on in there. Uh, well, we just expanded. Like I said, we were upstairs and we moved downstairs and added four more cabinets. And in the process of doing a pipe and pipe tobacco area, <clears throat> excuse me, area as well. Yeah. So the. Uh, the, you got a, a great selection of cigars in there. A lot of stuff I've never even heard of before, yeah. which is really cool. Um, uh, do, do do you guys try everything that comes in here, or is it, or do you let the kind of the vendors kind of supply you with stuff, or do you try everything first? We pretty much try anything we bring in first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How'd you get into cigars? I started smoking cigars in high school when everybody else started smoking cigarettes because nobody will bum a cigar. You smoke cigarettes and you smoke eight and give 12 away out of the pack. <laughs> Return on investment, I think is what that's called, right? Yes. And, and sad to say, started out with Swisher Sweet Cigarillos mm -hmm. but, and worked my way up to the good stuff. Yeah. What are, you, what are you working on today? The EPC Pledge Lonsdale. 
they're this the new size release. They just released this. And it, you've got a, a crew event coming up here pretty soon, don't you? Yes, right? so on the 28th. It'll be our 10th year anniversary. Happy anniversary. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, we have got a limited release cigar that we're doing just for the anniversary. We've got 100 boxes of 10. That you, you will not get these cigars anywhere else in the world. Wow. So if you're in Chattanooga, the Chattanooga area in uh, October 28th, if you want to be here for that, that's going to be quite an event, it sounds like. Yep. Uh, well, well, I'm smoking, uh, what do I have here? Oktoberfest, 2022 Oktoberfest is what I'm working on here today. So um, what's your palate normally like? What do you like to smoke? Full body. Yeah. Full body. Same. Yeah. Uh, it, one of the things that this, the, the herf has kind of evolved into is a chance to connect, right? And cigars bring people together. And you know, I'm sitting out where I sat out here in your your little back porch area here, and you got some regulars sitting out here enjoying the, enjoying the beautiful uh, fall afternoon here in Chattanooga. And uh, tell me, tell me one of your favorite cigar memories, one of your favorite cigar stories. Probably getting to meet Ernesto Perez Carrillo. Oh yeah, yeah. He came to the shop and did an event and got to meet him and have got to meet Lissette, his daughter. Wow. And so how long ago was that? Uh, it's been a few years. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. So of course, when COVID hit, they quit traveling. So yeah. So so how long have you been? Uh, have, you, have you been here since day one? No, four years. Four years. Yeah. And how, how has the industry changed in the last four years? Uh, it's, it's, with COVID, it's gotten very interesting, to say the least. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Uh, supplies, you know, you can get, well, you can't get this cigar, you can't get that cigar, and then we're having problems with getting boxes and just stuff like that. Yeah. But it's it's been, we've had record years for the last two years, and this year's going to be a record year, too. Wow. I'm, I'm seeing a kind of a rebirth of the industry, yeah. frankly. Yeah. You know, and it's amazing to see just uh, the, uh, I guess because you can always sit outside by yourself and smoke a cigar. Yeah. <laughs> Got to keep to yourself, I guess, huh? Well, it was <laughs> rumor on the streets were that when COVID hit that it was going to kill the cigar industry. Far from it. And it was a complete opposite. Yeah. Is there a members area or is it nope. just kind of wide open? Anybody can just come enjoy a cigar and enjoy come the in, place? And come in, buy a cigar, sit down and smoke. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Okay. So guys, when you're in Chattanooga, uh, come check out Cigar Man. It's, 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 it's been a, it's a great human door, a great location sitting out here. Beautiful day in Chattanooga. Great sticks. And uh, you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy yourself when you're here. So Chris, thanks again, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Perfers, enjoy yourself. Talk to you soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed the look at Cigar Man in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thank you, Chris, for your hospitality, for showing me around and having that stick with me. I really appreciate it, and I cannot wait to get back down there soon, for hopefully for your 10-year anniversary event. And guys, if you're in the area, go check it out. Chris will make you feel very welcome, and you'll be glad that you did. As always, guys, like it, follow it, share it, subscribe to it, pass it around, and keep the ideas flowing in. Things you like, things you don't like, so we're going to keep making it better. As always, I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for your support and make today a great one. We'll see you soon.